K13 versus Sprayed Fiberglass Comparative Fire Endurance Test. This is a comparative evaluation of fire endurance properties per ASTM E119. This test was conducted to evaluate the fire performance and endurance qualities of two different spray applied materials used as exposed thermal and acoustical finishes. The test materials were K13, a cellulose material, and sprayed fiberglass. The test was conducted following the time temperature exposure of the ASTM E119 standard for fire tests of building construction and materials. Both K13 and sprayed fiberglass were installed at 2.25 inches in thickness to gypsum board in a side-by-side -side test frame and placed in the test chamber. The fire exposure followed the E119 time temperature curve with an upper limit of over 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. At 10 minutes, K13, the internal thermocouple is 171 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass, the internal thermocouple is 532 Fahrenheit. At 10 minutes, K13, K13 remains in place. Sprayed fiberglass, the fiberglass begins to melt and drip. At 15 minutes, K13, the internal thermocouple is 221 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass, the internal thermocouple is 1069 Fahrenheit. At 15 minutes, internal thermocouple is 221 Fahrenheit. K13 remains in place. Average thermocouple temperature is 223 Fahrenheit. Internal thermocouple is 1069 Fahrenheit. Fiberglass continues to melt. Average thermocouple temperature is 1,096 Fahrenheit. At 17 minutes, K13, internal thermocouple is 283 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass, internal thermocouple is 1,300 Fahrenheit. K13 remains in place. Internal thermocouple is 1,300 Fahrenheit sprayed fiberglass. The molten fiberglass has completely dripped from the substrate. At 25 minutes, K13, internal thermocouple is 426 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass, internal thermocouple is 1,522 Fahrenheit. At 25 minutes, internal thermocouple 426 Fahrenheit. K13 continues to remain in place. Internal thermocouple is 1522 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass material is no longer present on substrate. At 30 minutes, K13. Top thermocouple 193 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass. Top thermocouple is 560 Fahrenheit. At 30 minutes, top thermocouple is 193 Fahrenheit. K13 internal thermocouple is 499 Fahrenheit. Top thermocouple is 560 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass internal thermocouple is 1542 Fahrenheit. At 30 minutes, internal thermocouple is 499 Fahrenheit. K13 test terminated. Internal thermocouple is 1,542 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass test terminated. At 30 minutes, internal thermocouple is 499 Fahrenheit. K13 test determined K13 remains in place, protecting the substrate. Internal thermocouple is 1,542 Fahrenheit. Sprayed fiberglass test determined substrate visibility damaged no fiberglass remains. Final observation. K13 remained in place for the duration of the test. No damage to the top of the testing chamber. Thermocouple temperature at top of substrate is 193 Fahrenheit internal, 499 Fahrenheit. 
the fiberglass melted off the substrate and was completely gone at 17 minutes. Extensive heat, fire damage to top of testing chamber. Thermocouple temperature at top of substrate. 560 Fahrenheit internal. 1542 Fahrenheit. Post test observation to top of testing chamber. K13. No physical or visible damage to top of testing chamber. Sprayed fiberglass. Extensive heat and fire damage to top of testing chamber. Conclusion. The two materials demonstrated significantly different fire endurance performance. K13 remained in place during the entire 30-minute test, significantly limiting the temperature rise and protecting the underlying substrate from the test fire exposure. In contrast, the sprayed fiberglass began to melt and drip from the ceiling at about 10 minutes into the test, and the molten glass was completely gone from the substrate at about 17 minutes. This left the gypsum board exposed directly to the test fire, resulting in further rapid and extreme temperature rise above ambient of over 3.5 times that of the K13 side. This also resulted in heat scorching to the unexposed surface, figure one, and a temperature rise above ambient of over four times that of the K13 side. The proceeding is an illustration of actual test report data. The test report is available upon request. International Cellulose Corporation, 12315 Robin Boulevard, Houston, Texas, 77045, 800-444-1252, icc at spray-on.com.